You have like Batman, born, yeah. and then I uh, Hunger Games. made out like with Batman. So there, <laughs> 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 it was just. Incredible. My favorite actor is Christian Bale. I love American Psycho. Like, it's one of my favorite films. No. You know, I know Christian Bale is going to be here, but obviously I'm never going to meet him. Christian Bale comes walking up, and he goes, oh, Woody, whatever, shakes his hand. Then he turns, and he goes, hi, I'm... Oh, my God. It's Bella Thorne from Shake It Up. <laughs> wow. I and then this die. Is I Very surreal to be rescued by Batman, and uh, the magic was definitely there when Christian's in his own, the whole outfit, and it's like, I know I'm, I'm not supposed to buy into it, but I got a kick out of it. Christian Bale is a horse lover and supports the Red Wings Sanctuary, a charity for rehoming rescued horses. If you've seen Christian riding horses in movies, you probably guessed he's done it since he was a kid. When he was 11, he'd ride to the local restaurant, order a beer, and pass out on his horse by the time he got home. Ditch Howard as he grilled her for more intimate details. When's the last time you had sex? Uh, a long time ago. Are you dying to go to bed with somebody now? I'm not dying at all. Who do you find attractive? Yeah, but if you're asking who do I think is right. cute, yes. I would say I have a talent crush on Christian Bale. I have lots of crushes. I love having crushes, but... Lately, um, I think it's Christian Bale. I just watched American Psycho where he looks really good. Christian initially wasn't interested in acting, but he was encouraged to try it. His mother, Jenny, was a circus dancer, and his father, David, was a commercial pilot, entrepreneur, and animal rights activist. Before we started, I'd call Adam, and I, I, how's it going? And he said, oh my God, Christian Bale is incredible. And I'm back in LA going, oh, God, oh no. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a movie with Christian Bale, are you kidding me? This, I'm such a... Christian grew up with his time split between Wales, Portugal, and England. By the time he was 15, he and his family had lived in 15 towns. When his parents divorced, Christian, his sister Louise, and their father moved to LA. Yeah. Here and his beard was like that, and he's, he's like he's like six feet two, and it was super impress impressive. Here the comments. And I looked around and I saw Christian Bale. And the first thing I thought was, Christian Bale is British? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he's such a good actor, I thought, I, I really was, and, he's, and, um, and he was very friendly. He was buying, he was there with his kid buying a Halloween costume. Christian doesn't like doing interviews, mainly because he likes to keep his personal life private. He just wants to act and for people to watch his movies. He says he wishes he had the courage to stand up and say he'll never do another interview again. I know that I'm going to be in a scene with him where I have to dominate him as a character. And if I have any doubts or if I hold back at all, it's not going to work. Christian has two beautiful dogs named Mojo and Ramon, and three gorgeous cats, Miriam, Molly, and Lily. Before they became Christian's pets, they were once strays. Christian Bale, you're a phenomenal actor. I look up to you. He's not here. He's not here. No, but he's not. And he doesn't watch the show. In, in, the, in the off chance that he does see this, I just want him, want him to. Christian, like the rest of his family, is an animal rights activist. He is involved with organizations like the World Wildlife Foundation and the DN Fossey Gorilla Fund International. Christian also supports charities dedicated to street kids and at-risk youth. And looking at him, I have no idea what to say. And he's like, you don't understand. My daughter, this, this show records over all my motorcycle shows. I never get to watch my motorcycle shows. I'm only watching Take It Up. And I, it literally made my day. I, it, I no, would it, think so. It made my, it made my year. Yeah, no, no, sure. It made my life. Yeah. Christian got his first taste of being on TV when he was eight. He starred in a commercial for fabric softener Lenore and another one for Pac-Man Serial. Did you know Christian voiced the Bruce Wayne Batman character in the video game Batman Begins? Christian also loved video games growing up, his favorite being Super Mario. He wouldn't go to sleep until he finished the game. Photo that yeah, resulted that. That is the photo. I, I honestly, he probably thought, look, just look how nice and soft his beard looks. Yeah. <laughs> can, we just, can we talk about how... Ooh, so much softer than Will's oh. beard, you know? <laughs> 
Christian's breakthrough role was playing Jim in the movie Empire of the Sun. He was just 13, but his performance got people's attention. He then got worldwide recognition in the year 2000 for portraying the serial killer Patrick Bateman in the film American Psycho. While we don't hear much about Christian Bale's love life, he's actually married. Christian's wife, C.B. Blazik, was a model and personal assistant to actress Winona Ryder. The first two weeks were all Christian, and the crew and all of us <laughs> fell in love with Christian. <laughs> Stupidly, I would tell these guys that. Go, oh. Hang up the phone. Up the phone. Oh, so God. grounded and specific, and he's so collaborative, and the footage looks beautiful. And Steve's like, remember when we did Anchorman? <laughs> Christian has ended up in multiple accidents from motorcycle racing. His injuries have even led to a titanium clavicle and a steel plate in his wrist. After actor Paul Walker's death, Christian's wife and daughter were so worried about Christian's hobby that he ended up quitting racing. Yeah, but the first time I saw Christian, I was blown away. I mean, I'm always blown away by his level of commitment and preparation and his work ethic. Yeah. You know. I've got nothing else, so if I don't do this, I'm not, nothing. Christian auditioned to play Jack in the movie Titanic. Since Jack and Rose are American characters, people said it wouldn't be fair to have both roles played by British actors. It's crazy to think that's the only reason he didn't get the role. Christian Bale is not the kind of guy you want to you wanna piss off. <laughs> you know, it's like, we, we negotiate these fight scenes, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Christian Bale is such a shapeshifter that he's a completely different guy almost every time yeah. you, you see him. He uh, he really is a method actor, is, is he not? Is he someone who really becomes the character because well, he has this uh, very thick British accent in the movie? And Perhaps Christian's most challenging role to date was playing an insomniac in the movie The Machinist. He lost 63 pounds eating salads and apples, chewing gum and smoking cigarettes, and drinking skim lattes. Throughout Christian's acting career, he's accumulated 76 awards and 196 nominations. What's impressive is that he's achieved this without any formal acting lessons. He was very generous and kind. He's a wonderful guy, and he said, you know, make sure they put a zipper in that suit. I did three movies with no zipper in my uh, outfit. <laughs> so he gave me some very practical advice. And, um, did you take that advice? I did take that advice, and as it turned proved quite useful. Yes! <laughs> he debated attending the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art when he was 20, but he decided to continue acting instead. And that wraps up our video. What do you think of Christian Bale? Let us know and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos like this. Some of you I reached out to personally, some uh, I'm still a little too intimidated by, even though we share the same agent. Hi, Christian. <laughs>